We are at lunch at Piero's in Las Vegas, across the street from the Las Vegas Convention Hall, where CES is going on now. But there's a, there's a lot of excitement right here. Uh, we have a guy here by the name of David Merrill. He's with the MIT Media Lab, and in a department, I think it's called Ambient Intelligence. Uh, at least there, intelligence is everywhere. And uh, he's equipped with a, a gizmo here. What is this all about? Well, this is, uh, this is a music making device. It's a new musical instrument that I've built called the Pure Joy. And what it is, is it's a vocal sampler and looper that uses uh, a microphone for the input and uses uh, just a regular gaming joystick as the control interface. And so with this system, I can record my voice in, layer multiple layers on top of it, manipulate them, bring them in, pull them out, scrub them back and forth like a DJ scratching a record, uh, pitch shift them, or any number of other things. So in other words, it's like the old time synthesizer or Moog synthesizer, I guess they started out as, but it uses your voice and you can yep, uh, adjust yep. that. Your voice is the, is the source material, so you, your voice is the most expressive thing that you have in, uh, in terms of making sound with your body. So you, you already start with a very expressive seed, and then um, it, it, it updates the idea of the old Moog, Moog synthesizers by adding a, a brand new control interface that's more like a video game. So it's something that people can relate to, people that uh, you know, grew up playing video games. It gives them a way to, to jam musically with their voice. Uh, in that way. And speaking of jamming, uh, this is not just uh, a single person. You can uh, literally, uh, well, you, you can jam with other people. That's right. And actually, we have um, some software that we're still working on now called Jamioki, which is like kind of, you can think of it as karaoke for jamming. It's like a musical video game where the game itself uh, gives some structure to a musical improvisation that people are doing with the Pure Joy instruments. And so the experience for a person is like, uh, it's as if the system whispers into your ear what you should play next, or at least gives you an idea about what to do next. And so it, it adds a bit more of an interesting structure on top of a musical jam, so that it's not just chaos, or it's not just the typical musical uh, jam structure where, uh, where a song kind of goes around the circle and everybody takes a turn soloing, mm -hmm. which is sort of the standard way to, uh, for musicians to jam together now, but we're trying to add a more interesting structure to the jam while leaving it uh, open for improvisation still. So it's like a multiplayer or multi-singer game, but could uh, could this eventually go online too? It could, sure. I mean, since the, since the sound is digital, it's all... Um, you know, it's all running on a computer that is easily networked. This could be very easily made into an online experience. Okay, uh, I don't know if we can hear it here, but uh, could you, as they say, hum a few bars for us? Sure, no problem. <laughs> I'll show you how it works. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Somebody, uh, what, just a couple of years ago would have spent a, three days in a recording studio doing this. <laughs> That's right. Anyhow, thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very good for prototyping. So if you're in a recording studio and you want to try out an idea, try something new, it's very quick to record something in, see how it sounds, see how it sounds layered with other things. And so um, one of the things that I use this system for also is to, to prototype harmonies because I always wanted to learn how to sing harmony. And my sister, who's an excellent vocalist, told me the best way to do it is just to keep doing it over and over and try and you'll get it. So one of the things that I try is kind of instant barbershop. So I'll give you a very short example of that if you're interested. <laughs>
prototype harmonies. Boy, these guys at MIT really know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> David Merrill of MIT Media Lab uh, from lunch at Piero's.